In the previous episode, I asked you guys what would you do if you broke the 3x3 wall record. I would also break the record for the loudest scream in the world. <coughs> Imagine due to your reaction to the record, getting another record by accident. That would be so cool. Except you'd also break the record for the most years spent in prison. If I broke the 3x3 wall record, I would take my cube and throw it to the cloud so someone would notice it. Nobody cares. <laughs> I would scream like crazy with joy. Let's go! Oh, like the previous guy. Damn! That means that you broke his record? But because I would make so much noise, I would get kicked out of the building. Something you get, something you lose. I will start crying because I'm not in a competition. Yes! World record! I would FaceTime Max Park and Timon Kolasinski to see them cry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey guys. Ready? Yes, easy. Yes! World record! I give up. Love you guys. I would scream. Finally, I'm faster than Timon and Max. And then I would break the world record again. Continue practicing to break it again. <laughs> guys, you are so evil. Shut up! I would say, world record, not bad. It's a world record, not bad. I would wake up because it was just a dream. <laughs> I would apply to be sponsored by Gun. Bruh. Oh, shoot. Um, yeah, better now. Please, Gun, sponsor me. If I break the 3x3 world record, then I would also break the record for the highest jump ever. And then I would do the greedy like a boss having two Guinness oh, yes. world record. Yes, this happens when you have 900 IQ. I'll take the timer display with the world record on it, travel to China, break it into Yushu's dude's house and show the timer in his face. Just kidding, I'm not even monetized. They don't see how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. You're not really fine. Yes! I'll think that I'm dead for having surpassed a Chinese. I suggest you better run, now. I'd probably knock over the table because of my insane celebration. Congratulations, you just got banned from the WCA. But who cares? You have the world record! I'll be poured into a mixer grinder. Uh, you mean the cube or yourself? Anyway, let's move on to the next question. Celebrate with silence with a thumbs up and pocket face. Finally, a normal question! But later in my house, I'll bang my head into the wall and kill myself. Never mind. I'll do the Sigma face to the cube and walk out in style. I'll be proud of the achievement in front of the people. Remember what I said about the serious question? Flashback. Is that funny? Okay, I'm a bit too aggressive, sorry. I'd walk into my classroom like I saved the school and tell my loudest friend that I'm now the most popular guy in school. When someone broke the record, kill the guy who broke my record. 911, it's me again, we've got another murder. I would look at the timer and then throw it away and feel like a gangster. <laughs> I hope the timer is a gen 1 The gen 5 are a bit too expensive I'll break the cube Same thing applies here Hope it's a Rubik's brand Actually that's impossible because it's unbreakable You'll get a world record for that If I broke the 3x3 world record I'll be very happy and get terrible solves afterwards But as this is meant to be entertaining I would eat the cube as you are what you eat Which would mean I'll be the cube which broke the 3x3 world record And I'll increase my net worth It's not much right now uh, It looks a bit confusing to me And finally I'll start a new career as a cube teacher then I'll teach an army of capybaras to solve Rubik's Cube in 3.33 seconds. Then the capybaras would spread information to the other capybaras and then I would have an even bigger capybara army to use to take over the cubing world. Should I be worried if this happens? Probably yeah. The question for the next episode guys is what would you do if the Rubik's brand was the only speed cube? Please write as funny and creative answers as possible. Thank you so much for watching. Watch the first episode right here and I will see you in my next video.